Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning and good evening, depend on your location. Welcome everybody. Uh, somebody saying no sound. No, I think the sound is working. Uh, today our topic is about uh, no sound. No, I think you hear me. What do you mean there's no sound? You guys, do you hear me? Am I heard? Okay, let's see if everything is fine. Am I heard? Waiting for respond. All right, so why are people saying there's no sound? Strange. Anyway. So our topic today is about dirt, and dirt is politics, and politics is dirt. Never change, never, it's going to be the same for now and ever. United Nation is a laundry place where everybody, every leader in the world, he take his underwear and he put it there. And then he blamed the dirt he have in his panty on someone else. And this is very, very practical specifically, but not limited to Islamic countries. Uh, we saw in the in the United Nation uh, someone like Erdogan uh, holding a map. He called it the map of uh, Palestine, and he says, "Look, in the year etc. There was no Israel, and then in the year etc. Israel is bigger, and is Israel is bigger, and Israel is bigger, and he is saying that Israel should not be there, you know." But this is the same hypocrite who went to Israel just a few years ago, in 2005. As he shake hands with the Israeli and he agreed that Jerusalem is the capital of the Jews. And not only that, he signed an agreement with the Jews, agreeing with, with everything Israel stands for. This is the same guy, the same person who, at that time, Sharon, he was the, the president, uh, the prime minister of Israel. He says to him, I welcome you in the capital of the Jewish nation and Israel. And what Erdogan he said, did he say this is not your capital? Did he say I don't agree? He shake hands and he said to him, thank you. And then he signed an agreement. Do you see how those people, they play games at that time? Turkey was facing bankruptcy, collapsing. He needed the Jews support. So whatever the Jews they say, we say, okay. Today, he do not need the Jews. But, but this is temporary stage. Tomorrow he will need the Jews. He will kiss their hand again. This guy is like a snake. And this is the very example of every leader in the Middle East. All of them, they are like snakes. Nobody is decent. Nobody is truthful. They change their opinion and their idea and their belief depend on the panty color they wear. So when he went to Jerusalem and shake hands with the Jews and agreeing that this is their capital and the prime minister of uh, uh, Israel saying, welcome in the capital of the Jews. Where was Erdogan at that time? He signed an agreement with the Jews about that. And he is saying to them, oh, we have a long history of supporting each other. This is what it says in Arabic. Then, we find this guy. His name, Dr. Mahathir bin Muhammad. Dr. Mahathir, he made a speech in the United Nations, and this is the text of the speech published in his Facebook. This is his official Facebook. Israel is the origin of terrorism. So now all Islamic terrorism, the problem of it because of Israel. Do you see it? Let us blame the Jews. Okay, how is that Mr. Dr. Mahathir bin Muhammad? How Israel is the reason for the Islamic terrorism, not terrorism, Islamic terrorism. He says, the first act engineered by the Western countries is the creation of the state of Israel. Hold on. 
Hold on, Abdul. The one who created Israel, as I know, is Allah. If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, it says the following. Let us educate the ignorance and the liars. Is that your book or the book of the Jews? It's called Quran. And in your Quran, it says that Allah, he assigned this land to the Jews. Chapter 5, verse number 21. Are oh, you guys, you don't see my screen. I apologize. All oh, my people, enter the Holy Land. And between two bracket Palestine. By the way, the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine at even once. Look like Allah, he never heard of this word. Which Allah has assigned to you. So how you say in your Facebook, Mahatir Muhammad, that the West is the one who created Israel when Allah is the one who is the founder of Israel according to the Quran? Are you against the teaching of Allah and the teaching of Muhammad? Are you denying the Quran? Are you saying that Allah is a fraud? Are you saying Allah, maybe you meant that the Western countries is Allah. Or maybe you meant that Allah is a CIA agent and Muhammad is uh, James Bond. Or maybe he is Lawrence the Ar of the Arab. This is your Quran. It's not made by the Jews. Don't blame the Jews for it. It says, Oh, my people, enter the Holy Land, which is Allah assigned into you. Question. Did Allah assign the land to the Jews? Who is a Muslim when I say no? Who is a Muslim is willing to say no? Allah did not assign the land to the Jews. Who is a brave Muslim is willing to shout and say this is not true. Look at them. Nobody dare to say this is not true. So the land of who? Assigned to who? Who is saying that? Allah. Who is Allah? Obviously he used Allah. He was an agent for the Shabak. Or for the Mossad it's obvious in the in the best scenario Allah is a double agent for CIA and the Mossad and his real name is uh, uh, Jack Shalom his real name Do we have any Muslim here when I explain to us why you lie says that this is not the land of Israel when even your Quran saying this is the land of the Jews. And when you say that Israel is the reason for terrorism, well, hold on. Erdogan was saying that Israel was not here. Israel. Well, it was not here not many years ago and you are saying that here we go he hold the map in his hand and he said do you see this map let me show you how Israel grow but he did not tell you that Israel grow because the Arab attack and I say here the Arab Muslim not me I'm an Arab but I'm not a Muslim the Arab Muslims they attack Israel each time to throw them in the ocean and what happened is the opposite each time they attack they lose and the Israeli get more of their land they are not a growing in land no this is their land There was no country, it's called Jordan. Can you name for me a king of Jordan before this royal family which is made by the British intelligence? Can you name for me which Jerusalem was the capital of which kingdom except Israel? Anybody can give me a name? Which Arab, which Arab king he was, his capital is Jerusalem. None. I remember when I was a, a kid in school, 
the teacher he was speaking about history he says inshallah we are going to take jerusalem back from the jews and the zionist blah 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 all the hate speech is the hate speech we learn every day and then i said sir who is the one who built uh, jerusalem he said according to our history it is uh, solomon and david <laughs> I said, but they are Jews, right? <laughs> this is their history. Their history, it says that the one who built Jerusalem is David and Solomon. Okay, who is David and Solomon? They are Jews. So who is the one who have the city? The Jews. Who is the one who built the city according to their history? The Jews. So how the Jews is the one who built the city in your history and then the Jews don't own the city? Have you ever heard of a madness more than this? This funny guy, Mahathir Muhammad, I wish I can have them in a, in a little chat with them. I don't want to call it a debate because they cannot handle the truth. This guy, he will be, uh, uh, he will lose his career if he have a conversation with me for 15 minutes because everybody will notice in two seconds how stupid he is. So he said that Western countries is the creation of the state of Israel. By the way, for those who do not know, Israel was given the right to, 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 to exist by the Ottoman Sultan, not by the Western government, you idiot. The Ottoman Sultan he is the one who approved the Jews to come back to their land. And again, the Turkish as usual, money, money, money. They gave him money. He gave him the, he gave them his bra and his panty. And he took off his skirt. The Sultan suddenly is not a Muslim. He don't care for Islam. Okay, Jews, take your land back. This is exactly what happened. Go and look. You can, you can look right now in Google and you will find that the Ottoman Sultan is the one who told the Jews you can come back. That the, the, the British, they were occupying that territory, yes. But by the approval of the Ottoman Sultan, the Jews came back. It was the Turkish again who sold that land to the real owner. The Israeli which mean the Israeli they paid for it it was not for free and not only that when they went there every house they got they did not take it from their people who live there they bought it they bought it imagine you buy your house back when this is your house by sizing Palestinian, first of all, none of those people there is Palestinian. The real Palestinian there are the Christians. Everybody knows that the first time the Arab they enter into that land in, in you know many years after Muhammad's death, which means in the end of the of the sixth century. So what do you mean Palestinian? Where is the who is the Palestinian? Who are they, those Palestinians? The Palestinians, actually, even the Christians, the Christians who live there, they are not even Palestinian. They are not real Palestinian. Palestinian as a nation does not exist no more. Even the Quran admit that. The Quran says that those people are giant. Uh, if you look at Yasser Arafat, he is in a size of a pen. This guy is, is, is short. With my respect to everybody, is short. But he, so he's not a giant. Who is the giant of those who you call them Palestinian today? What happened to them? They shrink. When Allah He ordered the Jews to go and fight, in between two brackets, the Muslim they put there, not me, not the Quran. There's a Muslim adding the word Palestine. Allah forgot the word Palestine. He don't know about it. He don't. He never heard of uh, of this word. Assigned to you, so he asked them to go and attack the land so they can take it. Okay, hold on, Muslims. Why Allah is attacking if the one who lived there at that time is Palestinian? Why Allah ordering the Jews to go and attack the Palestinian? Anyone can tell us.
anyone we have many muslims here let me open my skype to see maybe there is some muslims would like to call us I, as you know i enjoy always talking to muslims and always i get busted when they call me you know by the way i order a lot of uh, crazy glue uh, in my house i have a lot because each time i debate muslims uh, they break me into pieces and i have to glue myself again Who want to call me? Destroy me. And then he glue me. Any Muslim? Anyone? okay a newspaper mentioning my name again in indonesia let us see what this one is about so they cannot debate me but they talk about me in a newspaper <coughs> what this newspaper is saying Abdul Samud, Ditangap, Kara Kanunanan, Amat, Baragama, Tereja, Terega. I think my Indonesian is getting improve, improving, right? I mean, I mean, I'm getting better, I think. I mean, you can tell. What is my name? The, the guy who sent me this article saying they are talking about you. I don't see. Where is my name? They're talking about. Anyone see my name? Maybe my name is written in Indonesian. What is that? Christian. Uh, here we go. A Christian prince, but this is in the comment. Where is the. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Tabi Bolokir Bokanahal Kara Young Baring Ampu Karina Karima Okay, I will translate for you now. Okay, guys, are you ready? Let me translate for you. So, what this article is saying is Tabi Bolokir Bokana Bakina Ala Edone a YouTube a young a Christian prince. I hope my translation was perfect. Let us see uh, Google translation because I think my translation was messed up. I'm just joking, okay? Uh, let us see. Uh, translate. Where is translate? Uh, we can go to translate. I don't see the option translate. I have to click maybe outside. Okay, here maybe. I don't see translate option. Uh -huh. Where is the word? Maybe I need to open it with Google Chrome. Hold on. Hey, uh, Indonesian people, what do you think about my translation? Come on, be honest. I know you like it. I know you agree with me. Uh, the page could not be translated. Well, why is that? Try again. I cannot translate it. Even uh, Chrome could not work in this. Translate to English. Hmm. It did not work. Okay, hold on. We will do another option. I just I want to know what they are talking about me. Google Translate. I will copy the text and paste. <clears throat> All right. Where is my name appear? Christian Prince. Here we go. Okay, we will take uh, this uh, part one by one. Let me show you in the screen and see. Uh, for sure, those who they speak the language, they do not need uh, this, but uh, what we can do, we have to read. Okay, by blocking 
it is not the most effective way because eventually they spread one of them by making videos on YouTube, which of course will make a sense if a block because it's a diverse a con content content, no, not just a matter of religion. This is why the Christian Prince videos is an example of minority who have also been striking with hate uh, virus. What does that mean? With hate virus. <laughs> All right. So I think the guy he is saying to them, okay, blocking those things, okay, will not help you. You need to answer this guy. Uh, that was effective. Uh, that, then what is effective is to maintain religious harmony. Religious harmony? Are you going to change the Quran? Are you going to take all the verses from the Quran where it says the Christians and the Jews are not just dirty, filthy, they are kuffar, fight them, kill them, force them to pay jizya? I mean, what those people are talking about? Huh? What those people are talking about? And then he says, for Muslims, the Quranic verses also has a class forbidding Muslims to kill the God of others. Ah, you see, the, the Quran says you should not insult the God of others. That's stupid, my friend. The Quran does not say that. This is was temporarily when Muhammad was weak. He said to them, don't insult their God so they will insult our God and we have no idea how to answer them. Because all the Quran is on salt in other gods and other belief. From the chapter number one to the last chapter in the Quran. This is how stupid those articles are. Anyway, I don't want to change my topic. This is the article supposedly speaking about me. But this is telling you how big is the impact we did in Asia. How someone, someone like me, see how small? Pakistan, they file against me to YouTube. Pakistan, a, a, a country with nuke. They send to YouTube saying that Christian Prince is a threat to the homeland security. Pakistan, they are not fighting against like uh, India. No, Christian Prince. Christian Prince is a threat to the homeland security of Pakistan. I mean, Christian Prince, he have a computer, Pakistan have nuke. Do you believe it? And now the, the Indonesian newspaper is speaking against me and they are talking about hate and etc. I mean, what hate? This is, this is your religion. Your religion is religion of hate. If we go right now in the Quran, I mean the yellow pages of Muhammad, you will find in chapter 5 verse, did he, this, this guy in the article says, don't attack, don't speak against the Quran, forbid the Muslims from talking against others. The, the Quran does not say that you liar. This is the same Quran we are reading from, isn't it? It says that Allah, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until judgment day. If you are against hate, you should not, you should be against the Quran. Do you see it? If you are against hate, you should be against the same book. Verse number 51 says, take not the Christians and Jews as a friends because they are the enemy. So how come you are against hate, but you are not against the Quran? We don't say, we never hate the Muslims. Every video I make, I say to the Christian, please, please, please love the Muslims. Never hate them. We are Christian. We cannot hate them. Is that your book? Or this is my uh, book? Oh, you believe. Take not the Jews and Christian as a friends, protectors, helpers. So if you are an Indonesian and you read this verse and you met with a Christian Indonesian, can you take him as a friend? Can you take him as a helper? Can you take him as a protector? The answer, no. Why? Because hate is the foundation of Islam.
Yes, exactly. One of you, he says the Quran is a hate speech. You're right. Quran is the book of hate. And if you don't believe me, the proven of and by the way, this is not the only verse, there's tons of them. And don't forget the chapter 9, verse 29, where the Quran says, Kill them, whatever you find, know, like slaughter them, force them to pay the jizya. And the prophet says, If you see Christians or Jews in the road, spit in their face, force them to walk in the sewage, humiliate them, disgrace them, force them to change their road. Hmm. Is that your prophet? Oh, I'm typing in English again. Oh, hmm. Look at this first. Look how much love Muhammad he teach the Muslims. The word would come, people amongst the Muslims, in the day of resurrection, with the heavy sins as mountains, and Allah would forgive them and he would place their stead in their stead the Jews and the Christians what so Muslim they commit sin Christians and Jews go to hell <laughs> I mean that's too much love Muslim he go and they have fornication. Muslim he do whatever, etc. And okay, Allah will send the Christians and Jews. Don't worry, you can commit sin as much as you want because I'm going to take the Christian and the Jews, put them instead of you. Do you see it? Is that a teaching of hate or not? And the funny they say to us, why Jesus he died for your sin? Shouldn't you pay? Everyone should pay for his sin. This is what they say to us. How many times you you hear Muslims saying as I can neck a brother sister is it not logical that a person he would die for more sin simply this is my sin and I should pay the price for it okay so I should pay the price for it well are you sure are you convinced with this the second you show him what his prophet says he will say the prophet is right and he is absolutely correct because the Christian they did not worship Allah, so we have to pay and the what are you saying? Okay, what? So when you when they want uh, Jesus cannot pay for your sin. When they want, it's okay. Allah he will replace the the Muslims. With the Christians and the Jews and the Jews, they will pay for your sin. In different hadith, Muhammad he said the following. Let me find it. I'm just trying to show you. I mean, this religion is against hate. Look at this. This is the ethic of the Prophet of Allah. The ethic. I mean, the highest ethic in the world. Muhammad is the best man for mankind. Muhammad is the most beautiful man. Muhammad is the most peaceful man. Muhammad, the one who teaches how to behave, how to treat others. Islam is peace. Okay? Don't greet the Christians and the Jews before they greet you. Hmm. So it's your duty to greet them. And if you meet any one of them the road, force them to walk in the sewage, which means you have a duty to humiliate them. Other hadith. Give me something else. The same story. If you see them in the street, you have to humiliate them. Different hadith. Just to be sure that this is not uh, something not a trustworthy, you know. You see it? This is Islam. So, 
the Muslims in the United Nations they are bringing the blame on Israel Israel the one who established terrorism your prophet is a terrorist because what you are saying terrorize the Christian and the Jews when you see them in the street read with me carefully this hadith etc etc regarding and it's sahih do not proceed the Jews and the Christians some of the people of the, no, no, the, the people of the knowledge which means the Christians uh, uh, sorry the, the scholar says this is only means that is dislike because it would be honoring them if you say hello to Christians and Jews you are honoring them that haram haram and Muslim were ordered to humiliate them do you see it Muslims were ordered to humiliate them we have a Muslim want to speak to us let us see Yeah, no, I cannot find this name you send me, uh, Phil. This name is not to be exist. I think he has given you a wrong name. Do you see it, guys? Is that your prophet speaking, or this is a different person? Is that the Islamic teaching, or this is a different teaching? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I talk to us? Anyone? So when Mahathir Muhammad he 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 blame Israel for uh, terrorism, but this is a terrorism starting from here. Muslims have a duty to insult, to humiliate, to kill, to fight, to discriminate. This is it's in the front of you. This is not even our teaching. Let me get some water. And you know what make it more funny the Muslim they forgot that Muhammad he himself he admit that he is a terrorist Muhammad he said it clearly I was victorious by terror I cannot find such a name my friend just forget look what Muhammad said Is that Muhammad speaking or me? I was victorious by terror. By what? By terror. When I can let a Christian call, no, I cannot let a Christian call, sorry. Because we don't want to do what Muslims do. Muslims, they get two people talking in the, in, in the microphone, speaking against Christians, and that's it. They are winners because supposedly... Two people from the same belief, I say, one he says something, the other one says to him, uh-huh, I agree with you, uh-huh, uh-huh. We don't want to do that. There's no point of me to have a Christian calling me. What do you want to say to me? You want to say to me, I agree with you? I don't want people to call me and to agree with me. I want people to call me to prove me wrong. Muslims, is that your prophet saying he is the first terrorist at that time there was no state it's called israel there's nobody his name netanyahu there's nobody there his name is ariel sharon 
So why your prophet saying I was victorious by terror? Not only that, Muhammad he says I was victorious by terror from a distance of one month distant. Look, all of this Muhammad is speaking about himself as a terrorist. Do you see it? Look. By fear, by terror. All of those Muhammad saying, I am victorious by terror. I am a terrorist. Read with me. Allah Messenger said, I have been given things which were not given to any among the Prophet. Okay, what those things given to you? He says, Allah made me victorious by terror, terrifying my enemies from a distance of a one month journey. Do you see how much peaceful Muhammad is? Guys, Islam is peace to the point that when people they hear that the terrorist of Muhammad coming from a distance of a month, they get terrified. Do you see it? Uh, tone tone there is no need to say to them coward etc you know people they they, they have no why are you assuming that uh, Indonesian are coward uh, Indonesian Muslim no they don't know how they can debate me their stat cannot debate me so you want the poor Indonesian to be able to answer me be nice to the Indonesian and to, to, to Muslims in Indonesia please there's many Christians of you too did not know how to answer the simple question about the Bible so you are you don't think you are better many of you are the same Christian by name. We are not here against Indonesian people who they are Muslims. We are here to expose the cult of Islam. People are people. For me, I have knowledge for I spend my life studying. Those people, they have work to do, they have life to do. They are not there. They don't know. They, they are born in a family of a Muslim family. They have no idea. Oh, what they know, there's a God, his name is Allah, and there's a prophet, his name is Muhammad, and he was wonderful. That's what they, this is what they told them. Doesn't matter if he's Abdul or not. Have mercy on them. Don't you see what's happening? Imagine you are here and you are a Muslim and you are seeing this in the front of you and you cannot answer. You cannot answer not because he cannot call me. He cannot answer because he have no answer. The proof in the front of him. Is that a weak hadith? No, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, which is more accurate than the Quran. Do we have any Muslim here would like to say something? Who is a Muslim would like to say something? So this guy, he is a blame in Israel. But let me tell you how Muslim leaders in the world, they act. Anytime. The Muslims, they have problems in their countries. They have to blame somebody. As an example, Iran, since the beginning of the revolution, death to America, death to Israel, but they never attack America and they never attack Israel. So what death to America, death to Israel mean? It is just for local consuming. This is what the prime minister, actually the president, he said, those things just say, we say locally. This is not, we don't mean. So why do you say them? It just to control the people we have to create an enemy so now all of Iran cannot ask for a freedom because we are in war with Israel but they never have a war with Israel when the last time the Iranian state the Persian state the Shia state the Mullah state the Ayatollah al-Khomeini state have a war with, with Israel never so in order to control the population and population will not ask where is the money is going where is our wealth is going uh, we have to create an enemy so nobody will ask where is why we don't have jobs why we have people are selling their kidney women the number one business in iran now is a prostitution poor people but this is a rich country they have a lot of oil 
Where is the money is going? The mullah of Iran, they have billions of dollars in the banks. So how we can mute anyone when I open his mouth and question where is the money going? We say Israel. But come on, don't you know? We are fighting for the sake of Allah, brother. Israel, brother. We are fighting Israel. So Iran, the regime of Iran is exist based on Israel. Syria. Let us go to Syria. The president of Syria in the morning at night afternoon Israel 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 we are in war with Israel okay why we don't have jobs Israel why we don't have electricity uh, Israel uh, why we don't Israel so we have to keep Israel as a reasoning so we can survive how this dictator can stay Israel We go to Iraq, Saddam Hussein, Saddam Hussein, death to America, death to Israel. But in the beginning, he was not doing that, you know. Uh, Saddam Hussein, he found a, a more uh, a legitimate, uh, uh, <laughs> let us say, enemy. The Persian, suddenly he started calling the Muslim Iranian the Persian. You see, they use the word Persian. Like now in Saudi Arabia, they don't call them uh, 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 a Muslim, they call them Persian. Al force why because that will remind the Arab of their enmity to the Persian Al force so Saudi Arabia the regime they needed now to exist and the only way to exist this regime this family who they call themselves for oil they have to create an enemy and who is that enemy the Persian you see, they cannot say they are Jews because they are not Jews. There is two things will make them enemies. They are Shia and they are Persian. So every one of those countries, he have to create an enemy. Otherwise, they will not be able to, the system will collapse. And now Turkey. Turkey is a very collapsed country. It's a bankrupt country. If not the American assistant, Turkey, the Turkish bank and, and, and the Qatari for sure, the Turkish bank will be bankrupt in, in less than a, a one day. Actually, if you go and check in the history how many times the USA bail out Turkey, you will not believe it. Okay. Now Erdogan, uh, he will need to make the crowd vote for him. He need me to make the, the crowd like him. He could not do anything to Turkey. The war in Syria was a failure. He had millions of refugees who he made a lot of money from them, by the way. But now the money is gone. Those refugees, they spend their money. So Erdogan, he started kicking them back to Syria. He stripped them from their money. He took the money and now go back. So Erdogan, in order to gain support from the Turkish locally and from the Muslims around the world, he attacked Israel as usual. So Israel now is the problem. No, oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Israel, my friend, we go now to Malaysia. Malaysia is no better. This country is a flood by debt. They are borrowing money like crazy. Small country with a lot of money to pay off. So now the Prime Minister of Indonesia, what he will say to his people, why we have problems? One of the biggest problems all of them they are facing is terrorism. But terrorism of who? Of the Jews? No. Of the Christians? No. Of the atheists? No. Of the gays, lesbian? No. Of Islam? So we have to blame somebody. We cannot say we are the reason we are the problem. But look how hypocrite. The same leaders who they are attacking Israel, they agree. They met in France just two months ago. And they are willing to donate $1 billion to fight what they call political Islam. And all Muslim leaders in the world agreed that political Islam is the most dangerous thing on mankind.
The same people. In the United Nations, the problem is Israel, but when they meet together, they agree that political Islam is the most dangerous thing happening right now. It's a threat for all the world. And they donate it and they are given money by billions of dollars to fight it. So Muslim themselves, when they sit together, they agree that political Islam is the problem. And what is political Islam? Political Islam is Islam because Islam is politics. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a government and a gang seeking power, which means money and sex. That is the truth. Any Muslim want to prove me wrong? Islam is a, you know, politics. Islam is not religion. There is nothing in Islam is about God. What is God in this religion? God is just a tool to use, to abuse. So I want to take your money. How I want to take your money? How I want to make it legitimate? So I say God told me. My neighbor, he have a, a beautiful wife. I want to have his wife. What I would do? I say, God told me to take his wife. So now I'm a good guy. It's a government of gang. Do you remember when? Uh, why, why would? What do you mean? Do you remember? We have them until now. The parrot. Do you know that the first war happened ever between USA after USA became a country? It was with Muslims in North Africa specifically Libya do you know why because they were practicing Islam which is piracy any ship go in the sea they attack it they steal the money the first war USA had in their history after independent it was with the state of Libya and why the state of Libya was doing that? Because they are practicing Islam. If you ask the Muslim now, they will say that Muhammad, he have tons of attacks against caravan. Against what? Caravan. What that make him? There is pirate of the sea and there is pirate of the land. Muhammad is a pirate. Muhammad is Jack Sparrow. Prove me wrong. So if we go back to this speech of this guy who is speaking about Israel, that the terrorism, the Muslim terrorists today who practice terrorism, they are not terrorists because of the or Islam is the reason because of Israel, but this is absolutely false. What about terrorism in the Quran? If we type the word terrorism in the Quran, what we will find? Hmm. I will do that in front of you. Uh, this search engine is horrible. Read. Hmm? Read. Is that me saying that? Is that me saying that? Terror. Allah will put terror in the heart of those who disbelieve. How he will put terror in their heart? Let us read the Quran by the terrorist. No. Read it. Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? Allah will install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. By who? 
by terrorist Muhammad is the leader of a terrorist those who work under him fighting others they are terrorists if we go in the hadith when Muhammad he says I was victorious by terror frightening my enemies from a distance of a month you can did you ask yourself why somebody will be afraid of somebody from a distance of a month please anybody tell me how peaceful Muhammad is so if I hear now Jesus is in the other city or in a distance of a month from me who's going to be frightened nobody nobody If you hear that Muhammad is in a distance of a month journey, you will be frightened. This is what Muhammad is saying, not me. Any Muslim can tell us why people they are afraid of Muhammad from a distance of a month journey? Is that because he's peaceful? What he is? How in the world this guy can make you terrified from a distance of a one month journey? That means the reputation speed you, that you are a terrorist and you are a criminal, not a peaceful person. This is the truth. And the funny in the article, those who wrote an article attacking me, they are speaking about the virus of hate. The virus of hate is in front of you. The God who forbid you to take the Christians and the Jews as a friends. The God who ask you to use violence against those who don't believe. Why the Muslims, they fight those People, the Muslim, they said you they are defending themselves. It's a big fat lie. Read carefully. This is a chapter 9, verse number 29. Why Allah, which is supposedly Muhammad, he ordered the Muslims to attack the Christians. Read carefully. This is the Muslim translation. Fight against those who? Number one. What is number one? Don't be believe not in Allah. This is number one reason. Okay. Nor the last day. Okay. No, they forbid what is forbidden by Allah and His Messenger. Okay. And those who acknowledge not the religion of truth. Okay. But that means none of them, there's no reason, they are not fighting them. It is not the Christians and the Jews fighting them. The reason for killing them is the following. They believe not in Allah. They don't believe in the last day of Islam. They don't believe in what is forbidden by Muhammad. They don't acknowledge the religion of the truth, which means Islam. This is the reason to kill them. It's in the front of you. There was a Israel at that time, Mahathir Muhammad, potato, tomato, shish kebab. So Mahathir Muhammad, who have a huge shelf of debt he have to pay for his country. His country is collapsing from, is going to go bankrupt if they don't go and find a solution very soon. He have to blame somebody. So now all the problem of Erdogan, all the problem of Mahathir Muhammad, all the problem of Iran, all the problem of Syria, all, all the problem is the Jews. But why you are being surprised? Muhammad, he claimed that even food will not damage if there is no Jews. Read carefully. <laughs> the Prophet said, we are not of Bani Israel, which means the children of Israel. Meat would not decay. What? So the reason I have refrigerator now, it is the Jews? A brother and sister. A brother and sister, I want to tell you something. If you put the brother, the meat out of your refrigerator, and you put it in the kitchen, and you don't have eyes around it, it's going to damage. And you are going to blame the bacteria, brother. But in fact, it's not true. According to the Prophet Muhammad, the reason for this is the Jews. The Jews? The Jews? I live in America. 
I put some meat in my table. And the reason the meat in my table to be damaged is the Jews? Exactly. And they did prove it scientifically. Uh, uh, Dr. Zakanak, how you can prove that scientifically? First of all, our science in Islam is different from your science. We do it different laboratory. You use what? Different laboratory. Uh, I did not get that one. Different laboratory. What barbarity? Different Christian prince, you are your Arabic is stupid and your English is stupid and you speak Urdu. Uh, so are you saying this is Urdu laboratory? Exactly. Uh, so in the laboratory of Muhammad, he discovered that the reason for the meat to decay is the Jews. Exactly. And he used a very scientific method. Uh, like what? How, what he did? He put the, the meat in the area have zero zoos. There is what? Zero Jews. Uh, you mean zero Jewish? Exactly. And the meat did not decay. And where is that area where it have zero Jews? In Mecca, brother. It's a miracle. If you put meat in Mecca inside the Kaaba, the meat will not ever decay. Uh, are you sure? Uh, not exactly. So are you are making things up? Um, not exactly. So are, you are not sure, but you are not. What, what is that? I can do it right now because I have to go. My phone battery is need to be charged. Thank you very much. They blame the Jews. We have to blame the Jews for everything. If an Arab guy in the Middle East, he has sex with his wife, he could not do it. He blamed the Jews. Look, honey, how you want me to be able to do it? Don't you see the news in the in the, the, the Jews, what they are doing? And the women, she look, oh, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Well, Muhammad, he could not have boom boom with his wives. He blamed the Jews. Let us read together. You believe it? Muhammad, he could not have sexual intercourse with his wives. What happened? He blamed the Jews. And let me prove it to you. Here we go. This is the hadith. The prophet continues for such and such a period, imagining that he had boom boom. With his wives, but in fact he did not. Look, what the heck? What's happening here? Muhammad, he took off his panty, is doing to do boom boom, and nothing is working now. So what happened? Let us read. A brother and sister, it was a Jewish guy who made magic on the Prophet. His name is Lubaid ibn al-Asam. Do you see it? Even in what happened in the bed, they blame the Jews. Anyone? Any two? Any three? Any four? Sold. Nobody want to answer. Nobody have an answer. The prophet was bewitched. Hey, nice to meet you, bewitched prophet. Is that a bewitched? Muhammad Mahathir, you know, now I know why your name, last name is Muhammad, because you will be witch too, like your prophet. So you are coming to me with the bewitched prophet to make me believe in the bewitched prophet, and the bewitched prophet is advising us that we have to blame the Jews for anything happening in life, including sexual intercourse. Why Christian Prince is not married? The Jews, the Jews, brother. Okay, Christian Prince. Uh, why you don't look good? The Jews, the Jews. Uh, Christian Prince, why you look scary? The Jews, brother. Uh, Christian Prince, why you are uh, uh, holding your hand together now? The Jews. What does have to do with the Jews? We, we have to blame the Jews. I mean, and this is supposedly not a hate speech. You see, if we blame the Muslims for everything happening in this earth, it is hate speech. But we have religion who blame the Jews for every single thing in this earth, including the decay of the food. And nobody will say this is uh, hate speech. Uh, Islam is bees. 
אז גוגול. The Jews, my friend. And look here, he is not only, we have to be honest here, the Muhammad, he have a phobia in this hadith in two things, women and the Jews. <laughs> Muhammad, the funny Muslim, they say, we don't believe in the original sin. But Muhammad is saying, there is, if there is no Eve, no women, betray her husband. And the funny did that in his debate and Zach and Nag. Brother and sister, the Christian in the Bible, they are blaming Eve for the sin of Adam. And this is very wrong. Well, Zach and Nag, are you sure? I'm exactly very sure. Zach and Nag, your prophet, first, the, the, the verse in the Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says that Eve, she asked Adam to do something and he agrees. So both of them, they are sinners. But you're a prophet is the one who says, if not Eve, no woman would betray her husband, which means you're a prophet saying that Eve betrayed her husband. Do you agree with that? First of all, this is a big fat lie. I turned you to tell me the difference. Okay, Zach and Nag, I'm going to do exactly what do you do when you make a speech. A brother. Open Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. Hadith number 399. 3399. Now Zach and he will start looking for the Hadith. I don't believe you. I think this website is created by the dudes. What, what? This website is created by the dudes. This website is created by Jews? Exactly. Okay, but this is Sahih Bukhari. Actually, there are many people that are saying that Sahih Bukhari was a Jew. Sahih Bukhari was a Jew? Exactly. So why you were quoting him all this time until today? Yesterday he was not a Jew. I just discovered that. Here we go. Sahih Bukhari became a Jew. Hmm? The women, Eve, she betray her husband, and if no Eve, no women betray. So all women are bad, according to Islam. All women are bad. They are like Eve. Christian Prince is going mad. I'm not going mad. This religion is a mad religion. This is the most stupid religion ever. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call me, please? Isn't it going to be fun to give me the microphone in the United Nations for 15 minutes? Think about it. What will happen if they give the microphone for Christian Prince and the United Nations for 15 minutes? Let us guess what will happen. Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, the infidel Christian, but nobody but can answer him. The Christian prince is reading your prophet saying. Hmm? Now, those who they are from Indonesia, how many of you did download the, 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 my free book yesterday, Quran and Science? The one in Indonesian language. If you did not download it, you can go to Patreon page and you will see a link, updated link, because the link we have created yesterday is not exist no more. So you can go and get it from there. All right. Or if somebody he have his own link, created link, because the old link is not working no more, uh, you can post it and share it with your friends. And as soon as we get uh, the decision of Allah translation finish it might take some time we will publish that for you in Indonesian language for free as a gift from me for all Muslims and Christians in Indonesia all right and now let us see how the Ustad of Indonesia can answer anything there anything And by the way, this is just the Indonesian translation. I gave it for free. Uh, some people ask me why only Indonesian. First of all, 
uh, Indonesian people, the majority are very poor. And always, you know, for me, I like, okay, I, you know, my books support me, right? To make a living. But I'm willing to sacrifice the little money I will make from my books in order to save as many as I can from this cult. They are poor. They cannot afford it, most of them anyway. And why not? Why I will not help them? The Lord, he will provide me. The Lord never forsake me. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? So anyway, the conclusion of what we are saying today that those leaders when they blame Israel and by the way many of you knows like I, I for me I don't take a side I don't take a side how many how many time of you heard me speaking against Netanyahu the Prime Minister of Israel always I do I know this guy is a corrupt he's a liar blah 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 but the truth that Israel is the land of the Jews what does this have to do with this I never take a side. I, I'm not taking a side of the Jews. I'm not taking side of the Christian. I'm not taking side of the Muslims. I take a side of one thing, the truth. The truth, my friend. Never take a side of a person or a group. Take the side of the truth. If you ask me now, if you see a Muslim woman in the street and she need your help, should we help her? Absolutely, we should help her. If you see a Muslim woman, she is standing carrying a cloth, or she is an old woman, and you are in the bus and you have a seat, you give her your seat. Because this is the truth. The truth is what Jesus taught us to love everybody and to help everybody. So we are not defending anyone except the truth. And the truth will set you free. And as you see, even the Quran agree that this is this is the land of the Jews not only the Bible the book which we don't agree with the fabricated book of Muhammad confirm that this is the land of the Jews chapter 5 verse 21 it is a land assigned to the Jews who's saying that Allah Do you see it? Who's saying that? Allah, and not only that, when the Jews they, in, in the Quran, the, the Quran saying that the Jews, they refuse to kill the Palestinian. And look what happened. Allah get angry. They said to Musa, oh Musa, in the land, in this holy land, there are people who they are a greater strength. Oh, what? Uh, Jabbarin. Jabbarin is people who they are very strong and big very powerful but those Palestinian they call them Palestinian today they are short and they are not big so the Quran is speaking about the real Palestinian who they are giant and then we shall never enter it till they leave so the Jews are peaceful they don't want to take it by force Allah he get upset only to Muslims oh, sorry two Jews they, they, they agree that we should be terrorists. Look at this. And those are the true believers. Two men of those who feared Allah, two of them, on whom Allah bestowed his grace. And between two brackets, they were Yeshua, Yeshua Joshua, <laughs> and Caleb. <laughs> Even they had names. Said, I sold them. I sold them through the gate. Those are the terrorists of Allah between the Jews according to the verse. Only two from all the nation of Israel, they were terrorists, and those are the one who been loved by Allah. The verse in the front of you, even they are giving you the names. I don't know how he got the names. And then they said to Musa, I sold them next to the gate, and we will be victorious. But Allah now he is upset because only two from all the Jews, only two people. So look what Allah he said to Musa. 
after the Jews they said oh Moses we shall not we shall never enter this land as long they are there Moses told Allah and Allah said to him all right Allah said therefore this is the land is forbidden for them for 40 years why Allah forbid the land for the Jews for 40 years because they refused to kill the Palestinians who is the one saying that the Quran any comment do we uh, do we have uh, dr. Mahathir Muhammad uh, listening do we have mr. Erdogan listening anyone Any who? Hmm. Yeah, by the way, if we all claim the Jews, how many scientific scientists they were Jews? How many scientists they were Jews? You will not believe it. <laughs> Go and search in Google and you will be astonished. I can say if not the Jews, you will not be using computer today. If not the Jews, if not the Jews, if not the Jews. Are we... Uh, exaggerating? Let us see. <clears throat> Actually, if I want to read the list, it's uh, crazy. This is just uh, from uh, not Wikipedia, Wikipedia. A ruin, whatever. This is all from this small tiny nation. This is all. And you know what? Some of them they have the biggest impact on humanity with their invention. I don't know how accurate this list in, uh, you know, this is a website edited by somebody. We don't know how much accurate it is, but I find that uh, uh, the Jews, they did a lot of work for humanity. Now, everybody, I mean, everywhere there's good, there's bad people. There's a lot of scientists, they are Christian. There's a few, they are Muslims. The funny, by the way, the Muslim, when they speak about Islamic scientists, but they don't tell you that those scientists they are not Muslims and some of them even been killed for being atheist or kuffar But today they call them Islamic scientists. I will give you an example. All of us we knew that uh, uh, Job The founder of Apple He is a son of a Syrian person But his father he dumped him in the garbage a Christian family they adopted him and he go up in their house as their kid not long from now maybe 50 years from now I will not be surprised if the Muslim they put the name of this person as a Muslim just wait Al Jabra the founder of Al Jabra is not a Muslim he is a Yazidi he is from the Sabian. They made him a Muslim. Not only that, the corruption goes so far. I remember when I was a kid in school, 
the teacher he wrote the name of a uh, of supposedly a scientist his name is al-khawarizmi so uh, but we are studying arab arab scientist arab so i said so what khawarizmi mean i could not find a word in arabic equal to it he said khawarizmi it's a name of him what is given because he is born he is from khawarizm I said okay what is khawarizm he said in iran <laughs> So he said the Persian then he did not answer you see how they corrupt all our books in the Middle East are corruption history is rewritten as they wish they make Persian Arab they make Arab Muslims they make scientists who they are atheist Muslims Christians Muslims because they have nothing to be proud about who they will be proud about Muhammad kidnapping women raping them And then you find that the first people who discover Australia are Muslims. The first people who discover America are Muslims. The first, my friend, my friend, you want to see how truthful they are? Just go to the Middle East. You want to see how truthful they are? Go to Islamic countries and see how much advanced they are. Because the one who did it before, he can do it now. Nothing changed. Do we have any Muslim want to say something before we go? May they, may they. May they, may they. Anyone? Yeah, actually, I'm blown the black African American from Japan. International. You know that uh, Muhammad, he was a white man, right? And uh, there's a fatwa, it says that the one who says that the prophet is a black, kill him. This is how much racist this cult is. You know, we know that Muhammad, he says that always he teach that black is the color of the devil. To the point, Muhammad, he says, if you see anything is pure black, kill him, any animal. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a very bad person. Because what the color have to do with being evil? A black person can be better than all of us. A black dog, he can be better than all the other dogs, or he can be bad. What the color have to do with this? So kill every one of them that is all black. Do you see it? Why? Additional proof that Muhammad is a terrorist not only to human he is a terrorist for dogs He hates dogs and Specifically the ones who they are all black Anyone have explanation I spoke to many Muslims they say yes a black dogs are very bad you believe it Do you see how stupid religion can have an impact on our life so now we have more than a billion human beings believe that the black animals are evil. That's why Muslims, they hate any bird, it's totally black. Any, any, anything is totally black, they hate it. And this is a very, very filthy teaching, racist teaching. Look, and not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that the black ones are the devil. Do you see it? Okay, why want to kill the black dog or black animals? Because they are the devil. What is the proof they are the devil? Because they're black. How in the world this man can be called the prophet?
No, uh, somebody saying why Muhammad flag was black, my friend. Let me explain to you. Okay, let me. Well, good. You ask this question, no problem. Okay, I will explain to you why why the black flag. Do you notice what is the colors in the flag? Look with me. What are they the colors on the flag? White and black. The black is all the land which is not Muslims. So Islam is going to erase the black. And this is why Muhammad he claimed that the black stone was white. <clears throat> The black stone is a stone coming from heaven and it was a black a white whiter than snow but sin made it a black so what sin would make us black do you remember the hadith of Muhammad where he is saying that Allah created the white people and said to them go to heaven created the black people from the shoulder of left shoulder of Adam and he said to them go to hell that is the idea of Islam this is what Islam teach black means sin the black stone is not a black stone, it's white stone. The sin is the black. Let us show you the hadith about that. Uh, all right. Don't forget to download this video because it's not going to stay there for long. The message of Allah said, the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than milk. But then it was blackened by the sin of mankind. Do you see it? And you must disagree. Anyone? No, all of them, the Muslims agree. That's what we have. That's it. Muhammad saying that. And this is the other hadith where Muhammad is claiming that the black people are created to go to hell. Is that me saying that? No. Is that the my Christian website? No, this is the Muslim website. This is your Muslim website, Al Ilm. And this is a turmudi, Sahih turmudi. Do you see it? And they say to you, Islam is against racism. Islam is racism. Islam consider non-Muslims dirty, najis, filthy, just because they are Muslims. Islam is the only religion have a sign in Saudi Arabia where there's roads for Muslims and road for non-Muslims Cities for Muslims and cities for non-Muslims Alim I think they meant Alim
Do you see it? Who agree with this hadith here? Who is a Muslim agree with this? That Allah created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he told them go to heaven and he created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam and he told them you go to hell, I don't care. Do you see it? Who agree with this? I will give you the link. The one is asking for the reference. Actually, the admin, he posted already. All right, my friend. I think we cover the issue today. Muslims always, they have to blame somebody for something happening in their life. Corruption, bankruptcy, countries suffering, terrorism, they have to blame. And always they blame the, let us say, the smallest one. Who is the smallest country in the world? Israel. Very little, tiny country. Hardly you can see it in the map. Look how small it is. Look how small. It's a solution. Somebody live far away at the other side of the world, yet he is blaming Israel for terrorism in his country. Do you believe it? Somebody living in Afghanistan, he blame Israel. But how far Afghanistan from Israel? Somebody he live literally in the other side of the earth. He blame Israel. How in the world you blame Israel? How somebody live here in this country? He blames somebody live in the other side of the earth for terrorism, which happened in his country. How a terrorist he is in Indonesia. He is to blame by Israel. What's, what's wrong with those people? We have to blame the Jews. Synagogue of Satan, somebody is quoting for us a verse from the Bible that says synagogue of Satan. My friend, that is not a, that is not a true statement of you to say. When the Bible speaks about synagogue of Satan, those who say that are Jews too. Did you forget that? This is the hypocrisy. Somebody quote for me a verse in the Bible says synagogue of Satan. Well, there's a church of Satan too. So he's not speaking about the Jews as Jews, all of them. Speaking about those who reject the truth, teaching wrong, teaching false. This is not against the Jews. Jesus himself in the cross, he says, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. But Jesus himself, he said to the hypocrite, you are, you are the son of your father, which is the devil. Speaking to the hypocrite ones, not all the Jews. This is how people, they fabricate because they want to find hate against the Jews. But they forgot that Jesus himself is born in Israel. Mary is a Jew. Joseph is a Jew. All the apostles of Jesus are Jews. So if not the Jews, me, myself, I will not know Jesus. They want you to hate the Jews, as simple as that. There is a there is a Christian minister supposedly his name James White. How many times I made video against him, against his teaching? Does that mean I'm making videos against the Christian? I'm a Christian. Correct? That's that's a stupid statement. But people they want to pick up a sentence and they try to build a snowball around it, make it bigger and bigger and bigger. We just said 15 minutes ago, never take a side of a person or a group. Take a side of the truth. How many times I made videos getting busted somebody he claimed to be a rabbi? Did I? Mm, I do. So I make videos getting someone who claimed to be Christian to be busted. Someone is a rabbi to be busted. Someone is a Muslim to be busted. 
anyone he say a lie we got him busted it doesn't matter who Israel apologized only time they attack Israel who said that who said that to you up uh, guys ISIS apologized for attacking Israel show me show me the, apolo uh, the apology of Israel of ISIS attacking Israel this is a big fat lie They fabricate a lie, they repeat the lie, they spread the lie, and then they believe the lie. Why ISIS will uh, apologize for attacking Israel? That's a big fat lie. <laughs> I know what you will say. Here we go. You want to blame Israel for ISIS. I get it. Okay. But ISIS, they were reciting the Quran. They were not reciting Netanyahu's statement. They are doing exactly the steps of the prophet, not the steps of Netanyahu. Can you prove me wrong? It's a news story. Nice to meet you, news story. Nice to meet you. Those people, they hate the Jews to death. All of us, we knew it. But let me tell you something about the Western. Western, they have a very, many of them, they have mental conspiracy, you know, like fantasy life. 9-11 was done by the Jews. The guys, Osama bin Laden, he said, I did it. Thousands of Muslims, they said, we did it. They celebrate in the streets, shouting, we did it. And yet, it is it is Israel. In the best scenario, it's CIA. But there's millions of people saying, we did it, and we will do more. <laughs> Stupidity. Just to create any conspiracy. And people will follow it. Go right now and search for UFO. Bigfoot in my backyard. If I make now a video, says a Bigfoot in my backyard, there's a million that will watch it. If I say small foot, nobody will watch it. Stupid mentality. People like this. Bigfoot. We have Muhammad saying, fight the Jews. The Jews are your enemy. Actually, Muhammad, he said that a duty for a Muslim to erase the Jews from earth. So what do you mean ISIS? A name for me, one thing ISIS did is not done by Muhammad. Anyone can show me? Show me one thing done by ISIS, not done by Muhammad. Look what Muhammad said. The Messenger of Allah said, the last hour will not come until the Muslim fight against the Jews, until a Jew will hide himself behind a, st a stone or a tree. And the stone or the tree will say, hey, Muslim, there's a Jew behind me. Kill him. Do you see it? This is a cult teaching genocide. So you have to say to me, hey, ISIS, the apologize to the Israel. That's a big fat lie. They will never do that because the second they do that, they will lose the crowd. And this organization is based on making themselves present Islam. And to present Islam, you have to adopt what Muhammad said. So what you said to me, my friend, is a lie. Sponsored by liars. Do you see it? This is what Muhammad said. My friend, who is, look it up. People, they fabricate the stories. Show me the videos of ISIS saying, apologize to the Jews. I want to see that. I want to see the video of, of ISIS apologizing to the Jews. Can you show me that? I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. Not my second, not my third. It's a big fat lie. Those articles are made for people who they are really, they are in love with being anti-Semitic. There's a lot of people in Europe. They love to be anti-Jews. 
So we have to fuel this hate against the Jews. We fabricate lies. Okay, who is behind ISIS? The Jews. Who is behind everything? The Jews. So what Islam is about then? What is this in the front of us? Is that the Jews? Is that the Jews making this? The Jews are saying to the Muslims, hey, when time will come and there's a Jew behind a rock or a tree, kill him. The Jews made that. Obviously, the Jews, they hate themselves. Uh, somebody's saying, uh, let me show you what he's saying. Here you see, you know, you see like a, 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 some statement which is showing you how weird a human being is. Sorry, Prince. Don't want to cause a trouble, but I hate and pretend Jews who among false Christians go and empower Israelis who kill and kill innocent. Okay, can you tell me the innocent they are killing? Name for me the innocent they are killing. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm waiting for you to tell me the innocent they are killing. The Jews, they are killing innocent. Where? Where is that? Is that something you saw in the news? They are attacking them. They are stabbing them. The Jews, they can't even walk in the street peacefully. You walk in the street, you see a woman coming with a knife in your back and she want to stab you. And then they will say to you, he shot a woman. Where? Killing innocent people. That's your propaganda, my friend. You are turning the truth upside down. As you see, this is Islam, teaching the hate against the Jews. So the Jew is a target just because he's a Jew. in front of you this is the only reason to hate the Jews they are Jews this is the reason for they are Jews and you the ignorant you you accept what they say to you because I can change the fact by changing the title by the way like right now Christian Prince driving his car he hit a dog Do you know what they will say in the news of the news like yours they will say an Arab guy, he killed an American dog. And they will make me terrorist. This is how they can change the truth. Oh, I'm not a terrorist, I'm a Christian person. Yes, I'm an Arab, driving my car. I'm, 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 uh, American dog, he passed the street, here we go. They made me a terrorist who killed. By the title, you change the fact. You change the whole news. Secondly, Anyone who claimed to be Christian and he is against the Jew, he is no Christian. Because to be against the Jews, you have to go to be against Paul. You have to be against Mary. You have to be against Joseph. You have to be against Moshe. You have to be against all the apostles. You have to be against your religion. You have to be against the Bible. You have to be against the teaching of Jesus. You have to be against Jesus. And you see, the Bible is a very, very decent book. When the Jews, they do something wrong, the Jews themselves, they're right there. They say, that we, God, he, he punish us for doing this and this and this. This is who are the Jews, my friend. If you open the Bible, you will see how many things written about negative things the Jews did through their history. The Jews who wrote that in the book, saying that God, he punished us. For doing this and this and this. Imagine David, he commits sin. And David is the most, like the Jews, they are so proud about David. And the Jews themselves, in the time of David, they wrote, David was a very bad sinner. He cried for God, asking for forgiveness. David. He did this crime and this crime and this crime. When he decided to build a temple, God, he refused his temple. 
why we lie and the funny which make it more funny that the one is saying that to you is an Arab isn't that hilarious the one who's saying to you don't hate the Jews is an Arab I am an Arab <laughs> it's funny it is hilarious <laughs> Ah, crazy world, you know, it's really crazy. It's a crazy mankind is so silly Human being can be the most silly creature ever Very silly their brain is a brain of a chicken. Nobody want to read nobody want to go and check history. This is the land of the Jews The Quran says so the Bible says so history says so Why? Why we have to lie? It's in the front of us. The book of the most religion who hate the Jews says that this is a land assigned to the Jews. Somebody saying Christian even Arab must love Jews because they are chosen people. This is not the reason we love Jews. That's not true. This is not true. Chosen people by God. You see, people chosen for they choose God. As simple as that. And this is why we are beloved too. We are not Jews. For we love God and we choose God. So God, when the Jews were with him, he was with them. When they were not, he was against them. Go read the Bible. Eh, silly, you know. You see, people, they have a very shallow mentality. It's not because they are chosen people of God. It is them who choose God. And God, he chose them. When God was forsaken by them, God, he left them alone. And this is for all nations in the earth. The reason the Jews they were different because they were worshiping the true God. So if other nations they did worship the true God, God will be with them too. And now we Christians, we are not Jews, and we worship the true God. Does that mean the Jews are only the chosen people of God? No. He said the Lord, the Messiah, he said, My sheep they know me and I know them. Who are they, his sheep? So don't misquote the Bible and say things which is silly. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. The world, not the Jews, not the Arab, not the Indonesian, not the Chinese, the world. So we are chosen by God, all of us to be saved. But it's in your hand. You refuse God, God is not with you. You accept God, God is in your side. There is nothing, it's called the history of Palestine. What Palestine? This is a land many nations they occupy through history. However, all of us renew that the nation who was living forever there thousand of years in that land is Israel even the Quran if we if we look in the Quran right now we check the word Israel we cannot find the word Palestine but we can find the word Israel okay did you ask yourself why the Quran say Israel if the Quran is against Israel Allah he's saying that Allah he favor them you see even Allah saying the, the 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 people of Israel they are my chosen people the Quran saying that oh children of Israel remember my favor which I bestowed up upon you in different verse he says the following chapter 2 verse number 47 O oh, children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you, and I preferred you 
from all mankind. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? This is the book of hate. The book of hate, the Muslims, they say that the Jews are racist. They think they are the best of mankind. Chosen people. There's tons of articles written by Muslims, but those are ignorant Abdul. It is Quran saying that they are chosen by God. Muhammad at this stage, he was trying to make the Jews believe that he is a prophet to the Jews too. So whatever the Jews believe, he put it in his book. You have Moses, I believe in Moses. You have Torah, I believe in the Torah. You believe you are chosen, okay, here we go. And look at the Muslims, they put between two bracket fabrication translation of your time period in the past. What past? This is in the moment, you idiot. What past? Fabricated translation. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. So this is what happened in the Islamic countries. They blame all problems they have, either in the Western or in the Jews or in the Christians. To make it simple, we have to blame somebody. Terrorism is a big problem in Islamic countries. We blame who? The Jews. Why? It's a small, tiny country, small, tiny population. Why Mahathir did not blame the American? He don't dare. American, they have hundreds of army base everywhere. They launch war many places. In the last 20 years, how many wars? No, no, we blame the Jews. The Jews. Saddam Hussein, no, the Jews. Iraq, the Jews. The Iranian. How all those people, they can't make their people sleep and not to think about the corruption in their countries. We have to blame the Jews. We have to blame, in the best scenario, the American. The crusade, the Jews, the Christian. Finding a reason, and this reason will not affect you inside, inside your country, is the best way to suck the anger of your citizen. This is why, like in Egypt, when Hosni Mubarak was a president, each time people, they get so angry because population is getting so big, no jobs, no food, no money, nothing. So what the intelligence of Hosni Mubarak they do? They bomb a church. In purpose, the police doing that. And they claim that a terrorist, he did that. Why? To keep people busy. So now the Christian and the Muslims will be busy. They create a chaos inside the country. So the Christian and the Muslims will be busy attacking each other. And the president is safe. Because now we found different, uh, you know, people now. They are busy. Christian, Muslims. And the president, his name is Muhammad. So we will not attack Muhammad. We will attack the guy whose name is George. They always need the problems and the problems to tie they create the problems to redirect the attention from the real problem they have. So Erdogan he have a bankruptcy in his country. His country is collapsing. Literally collapsing. Erdogan have a big failure in uh, Syria. He lost eight years of war sponsoring terrorists, everybody knows. He lost, and yet he claimed out that the reason of terrorism is Israel. He is the one who gave money. He is the one who gave through, through Qatar the weapon. Did you ask yourself where where ISIS they are getting all this weapon? I mean, how they can get those missiles from where? Who is the one selling them through the Turkish border? How all terrorists they came to Syria from Turkey? Turkey is the biggest airport for all terrorists who came to Syria. Everybody knows. Even the Turkish themselves, they have videos of the Turkish intelligence smuggling ISIS fighters into Turkey with weapon. But then Erdogan, he will go and make a speech. Erdogan himself is in occupation, Turkey, 
is not exist. There's nothing called Turkey. This is not your land. What Turkey? Since when Turkey is exist? This is a Christian land he occupied by the terror. And he did genocide against the Armenian, the Assyrian, the Syrian, the Christians. Then they deny it. And then Erdogan go and the United Nations give us a speech about a human right. Right now, as we speak, we have hundreds of thousands of prisoners of politics in Turkey, including judges, journalists, teachers, even post office men. And yet, Erdogan, he go to the United Nations speak against Israel. Because we have to direct, redirect the attention from our problem inside our country to outside our country. This is the whole game. And this is a method, by the way, practiced not only by Muslims. Billy Clinton, he have a scandal. They want to do impeach him, impeachment to Clinton. So what he did, he attacked Serbia. Always you have to direct the attention. Creating the problem so people will forget about your problem, bigger problem. To make it simple, let us say, I borrow from you ten dollars, and you told me in this day you have to pay me back. I know that this day will come to my house. So what I will do? I go and make a fire somewhere in your property. You will not come today to my because you have bigger stuff to be busy with. Anyway, I see some comments in the text are really funny and crazy. Uh, this is why I say women and men, before you marry somebody, maybe it's a good idea to let him go to a chat like this and see his text and his comments because that will tell a lot about him. He has a lot of crazy people there. A lot of crazy people. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> Lord have mercy. A human being sometimes look professional, look smart until he talk. You know, in the Middle East, if somebody is stupid, he want to get married. Like in the Middle East, we have tradition. You have to take your parents to ask for the girl hand, you know, like you don't go by yourself. So if the if the guy is an idiot, his parents they say, Listen, anything they ask you, don't answer, don't talk. Because if you talk, they will know that you're stupid. So the guy, he go and sit there and he put his hand in the top of his other. He said, the father of the bride, he says to him, so what do you do for living Muhammad? Muhammad, he looked at his father because his father told him one million times, don't talk. The father answered, uh, Muhammad, uh, so uh, why uh, why you choose our daughter? Muhammad, he look at the father, he don't talk. The mother, she answered. <laughs> because if Muhammad he answered, they will refuse him. <laughs> and here we have a lot of people, their mouth is loose and they speak their foolishness open wide. Are the ten tribes of Israel now Islamic? What does this have to do with it? How, how the ten tribe of Israel are now Islamic? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Are the ten tribes of Israel now Islam? How is that? How you come to this conclusion? I better go, guys, before I go crazy. I better go. I wish I wish there is a machine can study for us our human being brain function. How he create conspiracy and he believe in the conspiracy and he spread the conspiracy because he enjoyed the conspiracy. You know what I mean? Like, why a human being love bubbles? I mean, it's bubbles. It's not. It's not there. I want to make bubbles, bubbles in my in my bathtub. Okay, but the bubbles are not really real. I mean, what is that? Bubbles. They love bubbles. Their life is based on bubbles. We have to create bubbles. Bubbles are nice. Bubble bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I 
maybe I should make a topic about this. Actually, I'm thinking about to make a topic have nothing to do with Islam, maybe tomorrow. And I will make it maybe either in this channel or in the quality of life. We will see. All right. We make a video, last video in the quality of life. I don't know how many of you watch it. You can subscribe to the other channel if you care. Uh, maybe the admin can post the link so people can go there and subscribe. Uh, it's not about, you know, the, the, the problem is most of us, we are not educated and we go by what people say. You see, never go by what Christian Prince says to you. Anything I say to you, go investigate. As you see, when I speak about something, I show you reference, I show you proof. I don't make a speech. Most of us, we follow and we believe somebody, he made a speech. As an example, documentary. Documentary. Okay, what documentary? Uh, National Geographic making documentary. But you forgot that National Geographic is a TV station run by atheists. They have an agenda. Always the one who make a movie have an agenda. If it's a Christian person, his agenda is different. If a Jewish person is different, if he's an atheist, is different. If he's a gay, is different. So you, if you are smart, you should not believe in one word in that documentary unless you check it out yourself. So they bring you a guy sitting in the chair, and he says to you, in the year of etc. blah 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 etc. And you take it for granted because this is an offer. Like this is must be, and this is a. Uh, professional but maybe he's a professional liar everybody have an agenda Christian Prince when he speak about Quran he is speaking what he see what he believe but yet he cannot stay away from being a Christian so we can say that always this guy Christian Prince he speak against Islam for Islam is bad and for he is a Christian in the same time. So I cannot separate myself from my belief. But in the same time, because I am a Christian, and this is unique about us as a Christians, because I'm a Christian, that forced me to be truthful, not like others. Others, they fabricate lies because they are permitted to lie. Me as a Christian, I cannot speak hate because my belief forbid me from speaking hate. So me being a Christian is a sponsor me, sponsoring me and affecting my statement to be more truthful, not being negative. While others, they are always negative when they make a statement. When a Muslim, he make a statement against Christianity, he fabricate lies. Me as a Christian, I cannot do that. For I am a Christian. And Jesus forbid me from doing that. While Islam says even you can take false oath. Islam says you can practice taqiyya, which means you can say something and do something. I cannot do that. So Christianity make my agenda better agenda, more truthful. The rest how we can be grant like how we can grant their agenda to be truthful nothing somebody saying do you understand your own bible israel is non jewish judah is jewish uh, you know I, this is this is a very silly statement of you to say Israel is non-Jewish. Judah is Jewish. <laughs> First of all, there is nothing is called really Jewish and non-Jewish. There is people of God, and there is people who they are not people of God. And then there is people who they are the children of Israel. Those are the one we are talking about. The children of Israel. The rest of names are not really important. Tribe, etc. There is a person, the name of the nation, given to the nation by his name. 
His name is Israel. Who named him like that? God. Yeah, exactly. Free Palestine from the from the from the Hamas. We have to free Palestine and give it to the original owner, as the Quran says. Thank you very much, my friend. We should free Palestine from Hamas and give it to the real owner, which is the Jews, as the Quran said. Thank you, my friend, for saying that. Allah in the Quran says this is the land of the Jews. So let us free Palestine from the, the occupation of the Islamic Arab who they came with the Omar al Khattab. All Muslims agree that the first time Arab they entered there, it was Omar al Khattab. And the first time they spoke Arabic there, it was in the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. Before that, nobody speak Arabic. This is the land of the Jews. I am an Arab and I am responsible for what I say. This is the land of the Jews. The Quran agree with me. Allah agree with me. Muhammad agree with me. And you Muslims, how dare you not to agree with Allah? Nobody is blocking you. I can't see your text. Answer me, Mr. Don't, don't. Did your God Allah say this is the land of the Jews? Did your Allah say this is the land of the Jews? I challenge you to say Allah is a liar. Say it. I will put it on the screen. Look, now he will, he will, he will play dead. Because Israel departed to Assyria. Here we go. So what if they departed to Assyria? They came back. Somebody told you they became they stay there forever. Did you read history? Guys, Israel departed to Assyria. Uh, let me give you better news. They departed to Egypt too. But they came back. <laughs> and if I departed now, I am an Arab. I departed to America. I'm still an Arab. Potato. Potato, tomato, potato. Real people, stupidity. Let us say we took 40 millions and we moved them from here to there. Are they still the same 40 million or not? So are you saying to me by changing location, the people change? <laughs> people who they are from Africa, they went to America. They call them African-American. They are African and they're still African. Stupidity is amazing. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will divorce you second day. In the best scenario, after one week. Where is the guy who says uh, free Palestine? What happened? Where are you? I want you to say that Allah is the problem. Allah is the one who gave them the land. I want you to say, shame on you, Allah. What happened to this guy? Suddenly now he's so quiet. Look how so quiet they are. Look. He don't dare to say that Allah is wrong. Who dare to say that? The religion of terrorism. Are you there, Mr. Don't Don't? Oh, okay. I, I, I remember your name now. Your name is Don't Don't, so you don't you don't want to speak and give us the answer. I got you. All right, people. I think we have enough for today. I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to download the video, share it on your channel. Yeah, I, uh, the news about Nigeria, I read, you know, Muslims kidna kidnapping children's Islamic school, chaining them. But this is Islam. I mean, nothing new. But you see, the problem is, because this is a poor country, it's called Nigeria. African country. Nobody make a big fuss about it. You know what I mean? If this is happening in different country, the whole world will go crazy about it. But um, as long as they are African, you see, when African die, nobody cry. 
when African they get humiliated nobody care when African die from hunger nobody care rape by terrorism nobody care I mean they are African no, that's this is the truth you see they they claim that they are fighting for a human right 50 Muslims being killed by a criminal in New Zealand the whole world a cry Every day there's hundreds of African killed by terrorists in Africa nobody care Nobody Women kidnapped children raped human trafficking slavery Nobody care because they are African That is the truth. That is the truth. This is why always I support the African people. I made a video, you know, I think two years ago. I almost was going to cry because I could not believe it. They are chained. chained. They are chained. They are chained in Libya. They are they are making them sex slave literally, and nobody doing anything. Nobody care. Even black people in Africa, they don't even care. Why the whole world will cry for things a lot less than this? Because simply they are they are African. Nobody care. Very disgusting word. Hypocrites. <sighs> anyway, I want to say, guys, thank you for uh, being here. I'm not going to stay longer. Actually, I'm here really for long now. For how long I'm here? Two hours. And are you to get bored of me? Me two hours uh, here. I'm Two hours and uh, not is not a single Abdul that called me and my Skype is open. What I will do now? What I will do? I will go, I will go to the moon. Muhammad, he split the moon. Even there, I cannot find Abdul because the moon is split. And I'm not sure in which side of the moon I will land. In the right side, then the split or the left side. I'm really uh, worried now about if I go like I go to the east of the moon or the west of the moon because the moon is split by the prophet and then the Muslim they show you a crack an, an image of a crack in the moon like there is a valley and they say see the moon is split brother <laughs> anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you I will give you the, the video will take time to load in YouTube maybe about 20 minutes I will give you a, a maximum of two hours to download the video. After that, I will take it off. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope we will be back soon again. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so you will be uh, able to join us. And don't forget to join my other channel. It's called The Quality of Life M27, where we have many videos about many different issues I have nothing to do with this now. If you care to watch such a channel, join us there and i will be happy to have you there too thank you very much christ is lord islam is false and see you soon